man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Yeah, because when our martial law come, man, they gotta have everything barricaded, everything blocked off. So you gonna wanna go to the other side of town, but you're not gonna be able. You don't wanna go to the other side of town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't wanna go to the other side of town and not be oh, able, yeah. man. Alright? Because Esau gonna show that he the devil, man. He ain't gonna let you get nowhere. He gonna know you ain't got no food. And you probably know somebody on the other side of town with a little bit of bread or whatever, man. Whatever type of resources, he not gonna let you get on that side of town, man. And they gonna implement curfews. At a certain amount of time, you can't be outside your house, man. Or your ass gonna get carted off to a concentration camp or get a 50 cal in your skull, man. That's Jake right. You gonna listen, though, man. Jake is powerful, man. Like, man, fuck you. I ain't gonna listen to you. I'm gonna put him on curfew. I'm a grown ass man. Mm -hmm. When them human troops, man, they come in, they gonna be speaking their own little tongue. Da, 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 da. They gonna put a bullet through your head, man. Right. That's, why, that's why I say earlier, the course ain't actually start standing their hand. So when, when that time come, oh, it's curfew. You gonna be like, man, fuck, fuck curfew. your curfew. I ain't eating three days, man. You gonna, have, you gonna have to kill me, put a bullet in my head, I'm gonna go get something to eat, or I'm gonna die regardless, all right? That, that's how niggas gonna be thinking, man. Niggas gonna be like, fuck you, you might as well put a bullet in my head, because if I don't eat to, tonight, I might die anyways. Go ahead, all right? For because of, the, of their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid, mm -hmm. and man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Yeah, man, man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, man. The best friend, best friend used to do, do all the wicked acts with, man. Smoke weed, pop mollies, run train on hoes. Man, you gonna remember Johnny, man. You gonna remember Johnny had a stash of ramen noodles, man. You gonna put little Johnny to death, man. Go ahead. But shall destroy their houses with the sword, mm -hmm. and spoil their goods, because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Mm -hmm. That's it. All right, this is Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls all, both small, great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand. On their forehead. Yeah, man, that, that word, that word mark right there is the, is the RFID chip, man. Which is in Obama Healthcare, which was passed on, I believe, March 23rd of 2013, man. That word mark there is Greek. Paragma means to um, implant or stamp, all right? To put it into you, to brand you. That's, that's why these, that's why these elites, these, um, these Amalekites, man, they call, they call like the masses Goyim. Which mean cattle, man. All right? They call us cattle because they feel like we win good for nothing. What do you do to a cattle? You brand it. You stamp it so you know it's yours, man. So the so-called white man gonna try to pass that, that RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, to show to show that um to, to show the most high that um your allegiance is towards him, man. That you you rocking with the devil. Alright? The mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. It's the mark of the beast, man. You take that shit, you will die, man. They gonna call. Let's go ahead. We gonna see what's in next verse. Verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, said that he that had the mark. Yeah, man. You ain't gonna be able to buy or sell, man. Except you have the mark. All right. But the man of the Lord, the elect, is gonna eat, man. They're not gonna be worried about oh taking no taking no taking no chip to eat, man. They let they will eat, man. Alright? The spirit of the Lord is gonna feed them, man. Y'all yeah, people that like to travel a lot, man, you're gonna be able to travel that, man. You're gonna be able to go to New York on the west side of the country. Because you can't be no, you can't do nothing without the without the chip, man. Mm -hmm. Or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Just read it one more time from, from the top. Verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, say he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Yeah, man, you ain't gonna be able to buy, sell, you ain't gonna be able to do nothing, man. Except you had the mark of the beast. And don't take don't take that RFID chip, because that is the mark of the beast, man. Most I will destroy your ass. That's right. The most I will kill your ass, man. You're not gonna die. You're not gonna die no. Oh, no knife through the through the abdomen, none of that. You're gonna get your ass safe for a nuke, man. 
right? It's, it's over, it's about 200, 200 million nukes, man. So it's, a, it's, a, it's enough nukes for, to go around for everybody, man. You take that market, beat your ass, we'll be nuke food, man. Yeah. This is Revelations 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying, with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, and the smoke of their torment shall ascend up forever and ever, and they have and they have no rest nor night. Rest nor no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever received the mark of his name. Yeah man. You take that you take that RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, man. That little microchip which comes in that Obama healthcare. You take that, you go along, you, you go along with, with the so-called white man system, you follow his ways, your ass will get put to death. Right? Your right. ass right. will be nuke food, man. You will die, man. We we not playing about this. That's why that's why that's why the elders always stress, man. You gotta go into the to the uh, to the etymology, man. The old words. That's how we know the word mark is karagma, man. Means to stamp or implant. All right. Now if we didn't do that, we wanna know. We wanna know through, through prophecy the mark, the microchip is the mark of the beast, man. And that's that's that shit they bring into stamp, but to implant into you, man. So like we always stress, Israel, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, don't take that mark of the beast, don't take that RFID chip, even if it costs for death, man, because you never really die, man. You just you, your body, you just leave your body and you go to the spiritual realm, man, to, to, to the most high, man. All right? So don't take that mark of the beast, don't take that RFID chip, man, even if it costs for death, man. You're supposed to have a strong spirit. You're supposed to pray, man, day in and day out, just pray for a stronger spirit, man. Alright. Alright man, with that we gonna say, we gonna say man. Uh our brothers keep your faith, sir. Keep praying, keep laboring in this truth, man. In all sincerity. And uh all praises to Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Shock. I'm gonna understand the under the GMS, teaching the young and truth in society. The rocket thoughts all the brothers that's doing the work in all truth, love and society. Yeah, man, death to this place, man, death to America, death to the so-called white man, death to two-thirds, death to all you leaders, man. I'm oh, really going to condemn this shit three times. One, two, three. Death to America! Death to America! Death to America! That's right!